everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's episode, I figured we would maybe make an ability for our character. In Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Jack and Dexter, they all have different abilities. Spyro can glide, he can dash, he can blow fire. Uh, Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Dexter can spin around. Uh, they can dash, Jack and Dexter can at least. Uh, and I think they can double jump. I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't uh, quote me on that. It's been a while since I played. So I figured we would create an ability, something that I think would be interesting to put into a RPG game. And that would be like a teleport or a blink. Uh, so I figured that would be a pretty good thing to add in. We could add, have cliffs and stuff and then have platforms if there was a platform up on the same elevation as the cliff and they would have to jump and blink to get to that uh, edge, or if there was a moving platform like these ones up here, that they would have to, it won't go as close together, so they would have to jump and try to blink and land on and get the timing right. Uh, different enemies or fires or traps that they will have to blink to get past. I think it would just add a whole bunch of different ways that we can actually use the character in the game and use the storyline or use the props in the game. So let's get started. So when we're creating this blink slash teleport script, we need to add a uh, ray cast to the script so that we don't actually go through game objects such as the trees, such as uh, spikes or the land. We'll also have to move our character up a bit. And what I did actually before this tutorial is I actually have this rigid body and this capsule collider. I uh, moved this capsule collider, it was at 8, so it was down just a bit. I moved it up just uh, to 79, 0.79, I should say. So it's just up above, so it's not going to go into the ground, it's not sticking at the ground, it's just going to be right above the ground. And that will help so that you don't get any glitches when we do teleport or being able to teleport because if it uh, detects it that it's in the ground just even a slight bit then it's not going to teleport uh, and we actually might through uh, fall through the ground when we actually teleport we'll fall through uh, so we'll have to add a raycast hit now I do have my left button as the mouse the camera look button so I don't have anything set as my right button so I think we will add it as the right button okay so to start let's go ahead and create a C sharp script and let's call this blink And the reason I'm doing that is because we do have some teleport scripts that we had went ahead and did before. So we'll just name this Blink. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's get rid of these comments because we will not need it. So we're going to need a distance that we're going to be teleporting to. So we're going to create a uh, public float. And this way we can check in game uh, how far we're actually teleporting and adjust it to the right distance. And so we'll equal it as 10 and it is a float so we will have to put F there. We don't need anything in the start function so we'll go down to the update and we'll put if uh, input get mouse button down like we did in the previous uh, tutorials. Dot. Oops gets mouse button down then what mouse button it will be it will be the right one so it will be one so if the mouse button is down then we want it to do something so we're going to uh, create another function we will call this function uh, blink which we actually have the uh, script name as so we'll just do forward Oops. So there is no function called blink forward just yet. Oops. I actually will need to move it down one more. So we'll make a public function so that we can call this. So when we do this script, I'm just going to make it blink for now. And then later on, we can add animations. We can add particle effects, add a few things to make it actually look like they're blinking forward rather than this character disappearing forward. So we will call it blink forward. Okay, so in here we want the uh, 
Raycast. And it will be the Raycast hit. And then we'll call it a solid object. So if he hits a solid object, and we'll be in a 3D environment, so vector 3, uh, which will be the, so vector 3 uh, destination, uh, how do you, destination, sorry about that. I'm having a bit of a brain farts at the moment. So our transform dot position, so our position plus uh, the transform forward and we'll times it by the distance. So if Uh, physics the line cast and the transform dot position oh oops why the heck did it do that uh, and then the destination out solid and we'll close that up so destination equals transform dot position plus the transform forward times forgetting that transform times the solid destination minus one F. So what this is saying right here is when we teleport to an object, we don't want to teleport in the object we want to, and when we hit the object, we want to actually just move back one space. So that's what this is going to do here. So then if uh, physics the ray cast Destination three dot up destination dot y. So this is the y axis here. So our character here. So when we teleport, we want to teleport just above and then we'll just drop. It's not going to be that high. It'll just be uh, um, equals 0 0.05 or 5 F. A bit more. And then the destination will equal uh, the solid dot point. And then transform. will equal the destination. That's simple. If I could also spell Oh, sorry. It's a uh, transform dot position equals the destination. So let's go ahead and save that and let's test this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, grab the Blink script, we're going to move it on to the character, we're going to hit play, and minus, 
So now let's try it. Okay, there we go. We just blinked. There we go. So as you can tell, I'm blinking forward 10. Uh, let's test. So I'm not able to go through the object. It's bumping me right in front one space, which is what we want. And uh, that's all you need to do to create a blink script. So like I said, we will have to add uh, some stuff in. Even if I jump, I can blink. But as you can tell, hey, actually, it's actually just moving us perfectly. It's not uh, actually moving us up ahead, like above on the Y, as much as I thought it would. So uh, yeah, so we will have to add more code onto this to make uh, animations, to add particles, stuff like that when we actually teleport uh, to move everything. But uh, yeah, so that's how easy it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, Blink tutorial. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys later. Fear